Good morning. I'm not a professional YouTuber, but I occasionally make Plex related videos or cord cutting related videos to demonstrate simple, simple points and to help people along. I have a Plex library that has over 2,000 movies in it, many TV shows, bigger movie library than a TV show library. And I want to demonstrate the utility of using collections in your movie and TV show libraries and having multiple libraries for each to do pre-sorting. So as you can see, my first movie library is called Arts on Stage. Most of my libraries have a collection, so I can split things up. If you want to come into that library and just go for the comedy specials, it's easy to find. Concerts are its own library. Documentary film has its own library. And again, you can go in and pre-sort those documentaries by collections. Um, Disney Nature, Economic, Environmental Health. Any way you want, you can customize it. I have my main movie library. I also have an IMAX movie library and a movie musical library. Now you might ask why so many libraries. Let me go to music. I have my full music collection here, but I also have some mix um, folders of things I've mixed together for personal reasons. This allows me to share my main music library with everyone, but not the mixes. I can keep that personal and not share it with my friends and families. Down with TV shows, I use Channels DVR to bring in uh, recordings from both my antenna and the TV Everywhere enabled channels from Philo and YouTube TV. So that has its own library. My personal collection of shows that are commercial free are in this TV show library that I named Collections. And I also have the MB server running in the background, even though I've handed most of the duties off to Channels Plus DVR. And then I still have an, a, a library from when I first played around with Plex before I installed it on my current Synology NAS. So you, everyone doesn't need to have multiple libraries, but it might make sense if you have a big collection of IMAX movies like I do or you've got a big collection of movie musicals and didn't want to mix that in with your regular movies. So let's go back up to home. One of the things I do for my users is I help them customize their home screen. By default, Plex will put recently added movies on the screen, but you have to manually add recently released movies from the movie hub. So this way my users can see no matter when I put them on the server, the most recently released movies by theatrical date, or they can look at this line just to see what I added last, whether it's an old movie like Lassie Come Home, or if you really scroll across, you well, I can't scroll across far enough to find a, a modern movie. So let's back up and drop down and move into the movies collections. Some people don't understand the utility of the collections, but I can easily demonstrate it. So if you didn't have any collections and you wanted to search for, let's say, we'll pick this Abbott and Costello collection and a Tom Hanks collection. You have to click into Library, click into All, drop down to Actor, and now you have a lot of scrolling to get to Bud Abbott. It's sort of like watching paint dry. There's nothing quick about this process when you have a large library. Alright, so I missed it. Got to go back up. So here's Bud Abbott. I won't demonstrate scrolling down to Tom Hanks, but you can click into it and you'll see all the movies with Bud Abbott in it. But now here's the problem. People have to remember to switch back to this area and clear the filter to see the full library alphabetically. Now versus collections, you can drop into collections and if you created, say, an Abbott and Costello library like I did, you can simply click into it and now you'll see all the movies they made and they by default display in the order of their release. 
Now, even though I have a large collection, it doesn't take too long to scroll down to the T's to find the Tom Hank collection. And the neat part about collections is you can use custom posters and custom backgrounds to make it more visually appealing for your friends and family. Um, let's go over to the trip. I just found that through a Google search. It shows all three movies. Well, you see, I haven't got that far to add a background or I missed it. I just missed that one. So most of my collections have backgrounds. Well, you can do a collection on any subject you want. An actor like Will Smith, the Wolverine movie separated from the X-Men movies, or the X-Men universe, which I've included the Wolverine movies in. Um, I can do a Zombieland collection and a zombie collection separate. You can actually do directors like Tarantino. You can do um, fun things like maybe you have a, a affinity for comic books. Let me find it here. Here's a Dark Horse comic collection. These are all movies that their only relation to each other is that they were a comic book under the Dark Horse label and they were made into a movie. So you can get very unique with your collections based on your own interest. Here's dance movies. If I drop down further, here's historical dramas. If I drop down further, as a retired teamster, I wanted a collection of labor movies showing labor issues. So you can really customize this any way you want. And as you can see, it doesn't take long to navigate a large collection. But if I went in here and I tried to find that Dark Horse collection, I couldn't do it. There's no way I can search for it. And even if I click this and manually type Dark Horse, now this is an experiment. I haven't done this before, but I'm guessing it won't get me to that full collection. Let's see. It got me to an episode of Mom. So, collections aren't for everybody, and they're more useful the larger your library is. And I personally think there's utility, instead of just throwing concerts into a default movie collection mixed in with everything else, I thought there was utility in having it separate on the screen. I wouldn't want 20 libraries for my movies, but having six or seven makes sense to me. Again, it's up to your, your own desire how you customize Plex. Happy plexing.